at 2050, our planet will be a vastly different place. By 2050, artificial intelligence will be everywhere. AI-driven stores will allow you to purchase goods without cashiers or waiting lines. AI will diagnose and treat patients, manage transportation, and analyze massive quantities of data. AI chatbots and voice recognition systems will sound like and behave just like real people. AI will be implemented into robots. By 2050, robot dogs and other pets will serve as companions. Robots will dominate factories and begin to serve as teachers, cooks, pharmacists, law enforcement officers, athletes, and other professionals. In 2050, universal translators will remove all language barriers and voice recognition will be ubiquitous. Hundreds of sensors will be installed in our clothes, homes, and overall environment to monitor our well-being and improve our lives. Computing will change. By 2050, we may run on quantum computers. Based on the properties of quantum physics, quantum computers could deliver massive leaps in computing power, outstripping any current transistor-based models. AI and computers will integrate into humans. Brain chips like Elon Musk's Neuralink will treat neurological disorders like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, spinal cord injury, and blindness. These brain chips will allow people to control computers and prosthetics with no physical interaction. By 2050, we may be controlling things with our minds and communicating through brain signals. By 2050, robotic prosthetics may be stronger and more advanced than our own biological ones. Prosthetic eyes and ears will enter the market during blindness and deafness. And in 30 years, like AI, virtual reality will be everywhere. People will try on clothes in virtual reality closets, and holograms will bring FaceTime to a new level. VR platforms will allow you to move around while staying still. We will be able to travel the world and experience life on other planets, all from home. In 2014, 320,000 new electric vehicles were registered around the world. In 2019, that number was 2.3 million. By 2025, global EV sales are projected to surpass 10 million. And by 2050, the majority of automobiles will be electric. Gas stations will disappear and be replaced with at-home charging stations, refueling vehicles in as low as 10 minutes. Automobiles will become driverless. As of now, Tesla vehicles already have autopilot features that achieve level 2 automation on the Society of Automotive Engineers Vehicle Automation Ranking. Other companies, such as Google, have invested billions of dollars into self-driving technology. Currently, it's expected that fully autonomous level 5 vehicles will roll out to consumers in the late to mid-2020s and become commonplace in the 2030s. By 2050, people will be hopping into cars with no steering wheel. Thousands of autonomous vans and semi-trucks will travel cross-country, delivering packages and shipments with no human interaction. Drones will do the same for shorter distances. By 2050, swarms of drones will be delivering small packages from floating or vertical warehouses. There will also be surveillance and security drones, along with drones for construction, entertainment, and agriculture. eVTOLs, or electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, will provide urban transportation. Currently, there are several working eVTOL aircraft prototypes. The urban market for them is massive, and studies have revealed that the technology could become highly profitable. One of the companies working on eVTOLs is Uber, who wants to make aerial ride-sharing a reality. There's also Airbus, who have their drone-like Airbus pop-up concept. If Uber, Airbus, and other companies succeed, we could see widespread adoption of the technology. By 2050, cities will likely have air taxis everywhere. But that may not work. Elon Musk says that roads must go 3D, which means either flying cars or tunnels. He believes the answer is tunnels. Right now, Elon Musk's boring company is digging small, experimental tunnels under cities. If Musk can significantly cut down boring costs, by 2050, cities will have thousands of tunnels underneath them. Another one of Musk's brainchilds, Hyperloop, will revolutionize long-distance land transportation. Hyperloop, the idea for vacuum maglev high-speed trains, could speed up to 700 miles per hour. A trip from Los Angeles to San Francisco would be only 43 minutes long, compared to a six-hour car ride. 
By 2050, Hyperloop systems will certainly be constructed, and replacing airplanes may evolve into the most popular type of long-distance domestic travel. But for travel between continents, airplanes will remain dominant. With improved batteries, we could see electric airliners take to the skies. In addition, several companies are working to bring back supersonic aircraft. These aircraft are certainly not airliners, but small-scale jets meant to carry only 10 to 100 people. By 2050, we could have Concorde-like, but safer, supersonic aircraft soaring through the skies. Or as an alternative to airplanes, what if we traveled around in rockets? Well, Elon Musk wants to use his Starship to transport people all around the world soon. In Musk's Starship, one could travel from New York to London in only 29 minutes. Our energy system is transforming. Over the past decade, the cost of solar power has plummeted. Due to economies of scale and improved technology, the price of solar equipment has dropped by 89% since 2010. The cost for wind power has plunged as well. Due to these decreases, new solar and wind investments are usually cheaper than natural gas and coal investments. However, renewables still have one major setback, energy storage. For utility-scale systems, renewables need a way to store excess energy from windy and sunny days for cloudy and calm days. To help with this, researchers are developing new methods to store large amounts of energy. Some examples include storing energy as heat in materials, compressing air, or turning air into a liquid. Although it remains to be seen which method is best, these solutions will certainly be implemented for large-scale utility in the future. By 2050, renewables are expected to provide nearly half of all world electricity. But that's not all. As solar and wind begin to dominate the energy sector, fusion power will rise. Currently, fusion power is purely speculative. However, 35 nations are collaborating on ITER, a $20 billion project in France to test the feasibility of fusion for power generation. ITER will work by creating a fusion-powered plasma inside an experimental machine. The walls of the machine will absorb the energy, using it to produce steam that will generate electricity with turbines. ITER's first plasma is planned for December 2025. By 2050, we could have fully functional fusion power plants, operating more efficiently than any other power source in history. With NASA's Artemis program, it's planning to land humans back on the moon by 2024. SpaceX, Dynetics, and Blue Origin are all working on landers for the project. After the moon, NASA wants to send humans to Mars sometime in the 2030s. SpaceX is even more ambitious. They are developing the Starship, a rocket that they hope will send humans to Mars by 2024. Once they get there, SpaceX plans to establish a permanent colony. By 2050, Elon Musk plans to have a Martian city with as many as 1 million people. SpaceX is also developing Starlink, thousands of satellites that will provide the world's most advanced broadband internet system. Other space companies such as Blue Origin, Boeing, Lockheed Martin, and Virgin Galactic are all racing for space as well. In 30 years, we might have a permanent colony on the moon, space hotels in orbit, and humans on Mars. By 2050, our food consumption will be wildly different, mostly due to meat. Livestock contributes to 15% of human greenhouse gas emissions and uses 26% of the Earth's terrestrial surface. To feed our growing population while lowering emissions, we must move away from meat. Assisting with this are meat alternatives. Companies like Beyond Meat and Impossible Foods have obtained billion-dollar valuations, supplying the rapidly growing meat alternatives market. In addition, plant-based diets as a whole are growing in popularity. Then there's cultured meat. Cultured meat is meat produced by in vitro cell culture. It avoids the slaughtering of animals and produces very minimal emissions. By 2050, we will likely have in vitro T-bone steaks produced for the masses. To meet the demand for increased plants in the growing population while escaping the uncertainty of the changing climate, farms will move indoors, vertical, and into cities. The vertical farming market is exploding. By 2050,